Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him honor, give him praise. Well, if you don't know my title, praise God, praise God. Um, God, it woke me up, I don't know. I think it was two something this morning. Not quite sure what time it really was, but I know it was quite early. And it was so crazy because I don't dream. So when God does give me something, is in the manifestation of a dream. And I will tell you all this. So, thus saith the Lord. Right now, well, actually it's been for a couple of years. But this year is going to be hardest. So this is a 2S word, thus saith the Lord. For those that have been obedient, thus saith the Lord, you will reap. You will reap good. Oh, come on somebody. Well, you've been crying. Well, you've been tired. Well, you've been worn. Well, you've been torn. Well, it looked like nobody wasn't helping you. Well, it looked like this wasn't happening. God said you're about to make it happen for you. Double for your trouble. Hallelujah to his name. I feel the power of God. And I ain't even started yet. He said double for your trouble. Hallelujah. And, and I know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. God is not a man that he should lie. He said you've been through enough. Don't break before you break through. Somebody write that in the comments. Don't break before your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Because it's almost there. It is when you at the at the lowest. It is when you feel crushed. It is when you feel you can't go no more. That's when God will step in. Because he wanted to know if you was going to hold on, Joe. He wanted to know if you was going to hold on. And be strong. Or you was going to do like most people. Deny God. I'll go to the suicide. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the psyche. I'll go to the witch. You heard me. I'll go to the warlock. I'll start drinking. I'll start sexing. I'll start texting. You know what I'm saying. Because when we think God is not there, sometimes we, we veer to the right and veer to the left. But God said, hold on and be strong. Hallelujah. But now there's a two edge. I told you it was a two edge, right? For those that have been playing, and that's that prophet finger. So I'm not pointing that. It's the prophet finger I kind of am. God say, this year you're going to be exposed. Oh, and when I say stuff, it's for me too, by the way. So don't ever think, oh, she, oh no, no. Everything I tell you. It's for me first. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know when a prophet say, Thus said the Lord, God examined them first? Hallelujah. You didn't hear what I just said. So, anywho, let me continue this. God say, So many have been playing in his name, lying in his name. For filthy lucre. That's one thing I ask God never let me do. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm not playing. Hallelujah. Don't play with God. Y'all better stop playing with God. Lying for the money, lying for the honey. God say, We've lost our way as a church. Let's go back. In the early church, they didn't have much money. They had some things. And God picked certain people. Solomon, one of the richest kings. Because Solomon was obedient. You see, most people just ask for money, 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 money. I'm going to tell you the truth. I did like Solomon. I said, God, give me wisdom before money. Give me wisdom. Because check this out. What is it to have all that and you don't have wisdom? Because you're going to lose it anyway. Come on, somebody, because wisdom, wisdom keeps you. Wisdom and discernment uh, uh, stop people from using you, abusing you. Y'all know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. It's going to be a hard year for disobedient people. I'm telling you what God says. It's going to be a hard year for you. It's already hard for liars. You can't get away with that. You know that. The spirit of truth is heavy on the land, God says. The spirit of truth is heavy on the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the spirit of God. You can't lie like you used to lie. Hallelujah. God say I have to read some scriptures. Deuteronomy 8, 11 to 14. Why does God have to warn us, admonish us of something like this? Because it is so easy for us to lose sight of God in the shuffle of our lives. How many have lost sight of God? Be honest with yourself, God says. Some of you, you get blessed, you lose your mind. It's just real. You, you get brand new. You start acting all prideful. You start acting like you this and that and arrogant. And that's not of God. That's not the spirit of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Mistreating folk like you all that. You are one thing away from anything God says. He said, I can allow this or that. And you will be on your back. Hallelujah. You didn't hear what I just said. Y'all sitting up there playing. Mistreating people. Acting like you all high. God said, I allow one thing and it'll bring you down. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God say. Stop acting like that. And then when he do bless you, 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 you instead of being humble, you get a little, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. That's not God. And God say, you have mistreated his people. Y'all mistreat the poor and needy. Mistreat the ones that you that, that, that don't flow like you. 
that don't talk like you, that don't walk like you. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ecclesiastes says, chapter 7, 5 through 14 says, Solomon's fifth piece of wisdom in this chapter is that we must not let pride get the better of us by allowing ourselves to reject correction from a person we know has experienced in a difficulty we are going through. Ecclesiastes 7, 5, 6. Y'all don't want to listen to nobody if they don't have the money like you. Yeah, you heard what I said. Y'all just like the world. As a matter of fact, I'm going here. Most Christians that get up on that level, you start mingling with the world as if you are a celebrity, as if you got it going on. As uh, when in James it says, if you are a friend to God, then to the world you are enemy with God. But y'all don't want y'all don't want that scripture to hit you. Y'all y'all want to pick and choose what scripture, how you gonna serve God? God say this is this should not be. He said line by line and precept by precept. You can't pick and choose how you're going to serve God or what scriptures you're going to obey. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Let me continue. Praise God. Praise God. He said, if we fail to humble ourselves in such a case, we will likely later regret passing off the correction as nothing more than an arrogant interference. My God. That can be a major misjudgment as Proverbs 11, 2 says, bluntly remind us when pride comes, then comes shame. But when the humble, it is wisdom. And then it says, a sixth piece of um, Psalm um, excuse me, Solomon says that in Ecclesiastes 7, 80 says, when he reminds us not to let impatience defeat us, God says a lot of you have been impatient. Y'all, I had to learn that one. And I'm going I'm to I'm linger on that one for a minute. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. There are certain things that God have told me, and I've tried to go before him, try to make it happen, try to make it happen. And I fell. It was just like Sarah and Abraham. God said they was going to have a child. She's going to get Hagar and come. That just caused more problems. Well, come on, somebody. I'm talking to you up in here this morning. God says, be patient. It is a virtue. God, I'm going to wait on you. I don't understand how this is going to happen. I, I don't know when it's going to happen. And, and to tell you the truth, you don't know why sometimes. You just know that God told you what he told you. But he said, guess what he told me to tell you? He is not a man that he should lie. It should surely come to pass. And yes, in this lifetime, thus said the Lord. He said, but. It is by your faithful and obedience. Because, check this out. Some of y'all are asking for things. Don't you know? And I'm, I, I'm a living witness of this. Please listen to me, my brothers and my dear sisters. When you get blessed or when you get highly anointed, do you understand the warfare that comes? So that's why God sometimes delays. It's not that he is a denial. It's a delay because guess what? In order to match the blessing, you will get the warfare. And if you can't handle the warfare with the blessing, God said, well, let me let them grow up a little bit more. Let, them, let, let me let them mature in the spirit so they can handle that thing. Why do you think some people fall? It is not that they're not anointed. They got the blessing but couldn't handle the warfare. We see, we see it now. You can say what you want. Some pastors and preachers, they can preach, they can teach, they can do whatever. But in this one area, they keep falling. In this one area, they keep Come on, Samson. You don't hear what I say. Samson was the greatest man of the Bible. Hallelujah. But he kept messing with that D-L-I-L-A. What is your D-L-I-L-A? Because it's a lie in your life, but you think it's the truth. Because you ain't got no wisdom and discernment. Everybody that comes into our life or everything that tries to come and say that this is good or this is good. We're supposed to test the spirit by the spirit, God says. But we don't do that anymore. We just think that's of God. What's God? God says because the devil knows how to bless too. As a matter of fact, he's the little God of this world. Let me continue. Hallelujah. He says that when a trial is resolved, we'll be glad we stuck with it. He said, hold on. Go through what you got to go through. It yields maturity, spiritual maturity. It yields wisdom. It yields discernment. It's the process. Most people want to skip the process. They want to go from 1 to 12 without going 1, 2, 3, 4, honey. You got to go through the process. Because if you don't go through the process, you're not going to understand the message. And if you don't understand the message, then guess what? That's when trials and tribulations will overtake you, God says. But when you go 1, 2, and you, and you do what God has called you to do, and you go through what you got to go through, you learn wisdom, you learn this summer, you learn how to flow. And even with tears in your eyes, and sometimes you can't sleep at night because you're worrying. Let's be true. Let's be honest. God, I, I, I don't understand. I'm hurting God. But I trust you. There it goes. I trust you, God. Faith and trust go hand in hand. As a matter of fact, that's the element of faith. Trusting God, even though you don't see it, even though you don't feel it, even though you don't understand it. That's why he says, walk by faith and not by sight. 
Don't you understand the enemy is after your sight? He's after your vision. Why do you think they come in that tell lie vision? You know why the church is in the state is in? Television. Television. It showed us the money. It showed us the fame. It showed us all these, you know, I remember. And that's when people, we mock what we see. That's why visions board or prayer board is so powerful. Whatever you, whatever you, thank you, Lord, I hear you. It's called the need to feed. Whatever you feed on every day, that's what you become. That's what you want. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said we got to pull back and come back to the things of God. Y'all know it's true. Everybody's after money. And I'm not saying we don't need money. The Bible said money answered all things. But God says in Matthew 6, 33, I told you I'm going to be on that all year. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, not even ours. Because we're not right. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. The enemy is up in this hour. But it's time for the remnant to stand up too, God says. Let me tell you something. I've never seen evil like I've seen it. And it is called demonic possession. And the church is scared of demons. You know why you're scared of demons? Because you are not full of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. Even Jesus went to the mountain and prayed. And the Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost. And that's when he came down and did what he had to do. Even the uh, 12 apostles, before he sent them out, he said they were full of the Holy Ghost. What am I saying? Some of you are not full of the Holy Ghost. You can't do nothing. See, word alone ain't going to get it all. Oh, you didn't hear what I say. The word of God is not, sorry, I'm just being real. They work hand in hand. The Holy Ghost and the world. And the word, I'm sorry, I repeat that. And the word. You got to be full of the Holy Ghost. Because then the spirit of truth will come on you and you can see a person for who they are. You can see a thing for what it is. Come on, somebody. And why do you think people don't like me? I'm not a bad person. I don't bother nobody. I see through you, baby. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And they can't stand it. I try not to sometimes. Truth be told, I, I really, I really do because I have a heart of love. When you truly love God, you love everything of God, the people of God, even if they're not so lovable. But one thing he'll show you is the truth. He'll wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. This, this, that, that. And what you going to do? Go against God? The devil is a liar. I say the devil is a liar. I say the devil is a liar. That's why he says in the Bible there are silly women. <laughs> Whatever God say. Whatever God do, that is what it is. And the third point that God wanted me to tell y'all, he said, there's his will and there's your will. He said, many of you are doing your will. And that's why you're going through what you're going through. And that's, I have another testimony. I rem I've always been anointed since I was 27 years old, but I was just so hard hated. I'm going to say it again. I was so hard hated. You, you know, when you nobody can tell you nothing. Because you know everything. You know them people. No, I like you don't know what I'm talking about. And they got it. They got it. But they're not mature in the spirit with it. Come on, somebody. It took me years to get to this point. Because I want to do what I wanted to do. And I got what I got. You didn't hear what I just said. And that's how some of you are doing it. And then you get mad at God. Well, excuse me. You didn't go to God. You didn't confirm with God. You didn't get clarification and confirmation. Somebody put that in the comments. You didn't get clarification, God. What did you say again, please? Not for you, because I know you're God, but for me. I want to make sure. And that's what God told me last year. I told my students, clarification and confirmation will keep you. Now, you just go on about your business and do what you do. Then don't get mad at God when you get what you get. And that's what's happening. So God say again, it's his will, his perfect will, and then there's your will. You better choose wisely, God says, because everything in whatever it seems. Mm, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I keep telling y'all, I've seen this, especially in the last couple of years, where the person was, was anointed, but not by God. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning, but not by God. I mean, could preach, could teach, but you see, I could see through you. I said, wait a minute. They got it, but something wrong. It's tainted. There it is. Some of you have the gift, but it's tainted because you touch the unclean thing. Don't, don't act crazy because I did it too. I, I, so I know when you touch the unclean thing because I used to do it. Hello. Hello. I did a lot of things so-called being saved. And didn't understand why people could see through me. Because you see, a person that's really have wisdom and discernment and the spiritual gift of eyesight, which is spiritual sight, they could see all through your mess, honey. And, and hold on, a real mature person, they're going to pray for you unless you come in their face playing. Then they're going to tell you what it is, how it is. Come on, somebody. How them old people, you say, I'm going to tell you how T.I. is. 
Then you get mad because you thought you was being slick. <laughs> then you wonder why you're not getting the blessings of God. It took me a long time to realize just because you're anointed, just because you're anointed, don't mean you're ready. Come on, somebody. I'm saying it for real. Because if you don't know how to walk that walk before God and with God, I'm going to say it again, before God and with God. And what I mean before God is he, everything you do is in the spotlight before God. You can't hide. Where are you going to hide from God at? He's omnipresent. Hallelujah. These are all thus said the Lord's. Let me continue. The last sound advice, God says, do not look back. Be mourning one's commitment to God, the way of life. God says, some of you have looked back. It's too hard to live for God. I don't have no fun living for God. I want to do me. And the devil creeps in. The devil creeps in. What am I saying? God says there's some cracks in your foundation. Oh, come on, somebody. The foundation got to be steady. It got to be strong. It got to be consistent. You got to be under the power of God and the presence of God. You know what's getting people? Emotions. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. The enemy has incited fear in this hour. And fear casts out faith. And faith casts out fear. Somebody write that in the comments. So, whichever one you're operating in, it casts out the other. God says, and I wish that your faith be full. You know how you keep your faith full? Every day, every day, every day. Get up in the morning and get in that word or, or turn it on the audio. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You didn't hear what I just said. Every day. Joshua 1, 5 through 8 says, meditate in this, in, in this law, the book of the law. Notice that the book of the law. Day and night. And then you shall make your way prosperous. Make, that means you will have some opposition. Don't you understand the enemy trying to move you out of position? So that's why he causes opposition. I'm telling you the truth here. If you knew the level of warfare that I get on a daily basis, I was bringing my um, grandson to school. Some, I don't know who it was, but they right at the corner, and they had another car, and I could barely pass through, but, you know, I'm a driver for real. Understand me? And you could tell that it was fake because she was acting like she was reaching for something, but if you're reaching for something, you ain't looking at me, but she's looking at me. I'm like, oh, I see you, I see you. I'm not kidding. They try to <laughs> incite me. I just laughed. Before, la even last year, or oh, oh, I'd have looked at her crazy. You know, big guy. Sure would have. I just smiled. Because I see you coming now. I see where you at. The enemy tries to frustrate you. The enemy tries to move you out of the character of God. Because he knows that, guess what? And that's why the Bible says, Jesus humbled himself before them fools. Now I see why he did it. Because guess what? When you humble yourself, that means God fight. God says, vengeance is mine. If when you take it up, then God can't move. So the thing is, just humble yourself. Well, that's, that's how you doing it? That's, what you, that's how you coming? All right, okay. I'm going to let my father handle you. Come on, somebody. And I'm telling you right now, as a child of God, the true and living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you got to say it to them fools every now and then. When he gets you, you got to. Come on, somebody. When he gets you, you got to. You see, I might, I might say something or do something, and you, you, you'll talk your little mess to or whatever, and it ain't nothing. But when God gets you, honey, you're going to bow down. You're going to shut up. You're you going to move around. Come on, somebody. The power of God is real. Ask Miriam. When Miriam was talking about Moses, because he didn't like her, her black wife. He didn't, she, no, she didn't like him. She was Egyptian. She just talked. God struck Miriam with leprosy. Even Moses tried to go to God. Look it up, Google it, for you that know, don't know your Bible. And God say, shut up. You my servant. I'm going to strike her with leprosy and she's going to be out that camp for a whole week. I hear what you're saying, but she's going to know not to talk and put her mouth on you. What am I saying? When they put their mouth on you, don't worry about it. Come on, somebody. God got that. God got your back. Somebody write that in the comments. God got my back when they put their mouth on me. When they try to hurt me, God got that too. And he'll build you up. And the more you become obedient, he'll build you up. He'll build you up. I am 53, and I'm telling you right now, I've never felt the power of God the way I feel. I feel like I can do anything. I feel like I can leap through. You don't hear me. I feel like Superwoman. For real, real. A real one. In the spirit. No, in the flesh, I'm, I'm nothing. But in the spirit, by God. That's why he said, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Because when you have the spirit of God, that's when the truth, you can hear it, you can see it, you can believe it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I say hallelujah to his name. 
This is real. So this is what God wanted me to tell you. And in this season, you got to fast and pray. A lot of you don't want to push back that plate. Let me tell you something. I, I used to love to eat. I know it sounds bad, but most of y'all know it. I'll go up and down, up and down. I can see myself now as a consistency. And it wasn't just about food. God was like, Deanna, you, you conquer every part of your life. And you can't conquer this. I'm just being real with y'all because some of y'all need to hear it. Y'all may not, it might not be food for y'all. It might be something else. How can we say we, that we walk with God and we talk with God and we live in God and we can't conquer all areas of our life? Because he requires a balance. And a balance is conquering every area of your life with God and for God. Hallelujah. God, I can't do it on my own, but strengthen me. And one of my weaknesses was seafood. I used to love seafood. Do you know I don't even want it? Well, I'm, I've turned vegan. I don't even want to eat it no more. And I, I, I was tested. I was tested this weekend. Everybody just eating it. And I looked, and I didn't even have a desire. And I was like, oh, my God, this is really real. I'm really doing it. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I'm just encouraging you. I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal. Whatever it is in your life that you want God to do, you got to make that first move. And God say, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you maintain. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I have finally defeated, defeated that, that I'm going to say it, that gluttony spirit. I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to be bold and say it because some of y'all need to say it too. See, this is how Christians think. And I've seen it my whole life with Christians on the obese side. And I'm not putting down nobody, so, so understand that. We don't drink or smoke, so we think food is okay. Anything that you consume most, more of, it could be whatever. Even working too much. You got to have a balance in life. God, teach me to have a balance. I had to pray for that. I had to pray. I had to pray. I'm going to say it again. I had to pray because my eyes were wounded. You didn't hear what I just said. And I know it sounds crazy, but I take that all just lightly. And I say, God, let my eyes see what you see. Let my mouth only speak that there be no guile. The Bible said that there was no guile found in the mouth of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So some of y'all cussing, fussing, acting crazy. God said, hold your peace this hour. I'll fight for you. I'll answer. You ain't got to answer them people. God answered. Hallelujah. God going to answer what he say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not fighting with nobody no more. I'm going to let God answer you. And they test me. Trust. Oh, I've been tested. Oh, I've been tested. Not even just last week. Ooh, the old Deanna. Ooh, ooh. They'd have been in trouble. Straight up. Y'all know my spirit. Don't act like you don't know I'm heavy. I walk with it. I walk heavy, baby. Hallelujah. Always did. Even when I was in the natural, I wasn't nobody to play with. I'm just going to be real with you. I cut you. Ask people. I wasn't the one. I used to, I'm going to tell y'all a story. And it's real. I used to bring a guy home to my grandfather's house who really raised me as a, fa as a father figure. And I was so embarrassed. I said, he say, I'm telling you right now. Don't play with a shit. Cut you. I said, I said, Papa, why would you tell people that? He said, because I don't want the blood on my hand. I stopped bringing people. I said, yes. He said, no, you need to stop. I said, I will never do it unless somebody threaten me or hurt me. I try to hurt me. I'm just sharing something. God will change your whole life. The way you used to do things. The way you used to say things. The way you used to act. I didn't understand why God would use somebody like me. But I understand now. Because, you know, I, I, I didn't fear anything in the natural. So, you know, I don't fear nothing now. I'm so serious. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. You know, some people pretend. Honestly, I was, I was really with bad people. I ain't never killed nobody. I'm going to say it like that. Y'all hear me? I think you hear me. So, it took, it took a while for me to, to, to transition from being this and that. I'm saying this for a reason. I'm not just saying this. Some of y'all still acting like thugs in the kingdom. Uh, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. You might think it's being hard. No. Now I know why Jesus was so strong. Because you got to be strong when you don't answer a person. You, and you're just like, I only say what my father tell me to say. And people think you're weak, but you're strong. Come on, somebody. I'm trying to help you this morning. Stop acting like that, God says. If we're going to represent Christ, Jesus Christ, well, let's represent him in full representation. That's why the church ain't got no power. The world has came into the church, and now we're acting worldly. 
And then when somebody says something about somebody, oh, you judge it. I sure am, because you don't know your Bible. And I ain't going to tell you. Y'all going to have to go search them scriptures like I did. I, I, I used to go to here. I'm not telling you nothing. Go search them, them scriptures. You're going to find out that we're going to judge angels one day. But it's righteous judgment. See, thank you, Lord. I hear you. This is where I understand that people don't understand the Bible. You read it, but if you don't have the Spirit of God, then you will never understand the biblical application of what they're saying. What he meant, when you don't judge a person, you're like, oh, you're going to hell, you're going, no one can say who's going to heaven or hell. But we are to judge righteousness and righteously. No, we're not to put people down and bash them. No, 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 because we've all sinned. They keep trying to call me and try to stop my life. These people are crazy. They're really crazy. Y'all think it's a game. So that's all God told me to say. So I'm going to leave y'all with this. Remember, this is the hour of judgment for the church. I'm going to say it again. Thus saith the Lord. This is the hour of judgment in the church. And I have a hard thing to say before I get off of here. People are going to start falling dead. Go ahead and write it down. Write the date. Today is the 18th. People are going to start falling dead. Now, day, I'm talking about pastors, preachers, and teachers. Stop playing with God, please. This is not the hour to play with God. It never was an hour, but people still do it. Because this is what they say. But look at all the best I've gone in the world. Surely God is asleep. Surely there's no God. Or surely. Don't you understand? That we, we, we almost in the book of Pharaoh. When Pharaoh was holding the people captive and he thought he was in power. He was doing what he was doing. And make no mistakes, we're in a Pharaoh system. It's the same thing, just different generation. Pharaoh really thought he was doing something. And God said, I hardened your heart on purpose, Pharaoh. I let you do this to let you think that you were somebody. What happened to Pharaoh in the end? It was a miracle. They going through, trying to, they going through. God opened the Red Sea. Pharaoh thought he could do what the children of God can do. And that's when God said, now you went too far. And all of Pharaoh and his people died. I'm going to say it again. And all of his people died, Pharaoh. What am I saying? We're still in the Pharaoh days. Pharaoh, y'all know who Pharaoh is. Don't play with me. Pharaoh is deleting all these people that's doing this stuff. Because a lot of you think, oh, Lord, I know you was going to make me go here. I'm going here. Those are hits. Say it again, Deanna. Those are hits. You really think people just getting killed out here like that? Someone by strangers? Innocent people? Those are hits. They need that gun law to drop. And that gun law will drop. And when it drops, oh, you better pray because that's when martial law come in. Y'all think this again? Y'all know. But remember, I said, I've been saying it for years. I was one of the first ones to start saying something. They said, oh, I was crazy. Now you got most people, you know, saying it. Well, I've shifted. I've already laid the foundation. I told y'all what was coming. Now my mandate is to prepare you to be strong when it comes. That's why I shifted. Like people say, oh, she don't talk about that. And I still talk about it. But that's not my mandate. My mandate has changed. We already know what's coming. I hope you know. I hope you know. I hope you're storing up food. I hope you're storing up water. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You're going to be like the five virgins that had the oil and the five didn't because you ain't getting my oil. And I'm telling you, it's going to be hell on earth because when that happens, because you have some people that don't believe it. They're, those are going to be the ones trying to break in and kill others. Oh, man, they ain't ready for me to, this morning. They ain't ready for all that. I see it. I see it. All the and, the and and the way they they doing the hits, especially against the rappers. You really think they paying them bars to do that to each other, y'all? Come on, somebody, they paying them. Black KKK. I said it. Huh, I'm going here. Remind me of slavery days. The house Negro with the field Negro against each other. I'm talking to black people now. And you didn't brought it, God said, for a dollar. You gonna have to reap what you sow, said the Lord. And that's anybody that took that blood money. I'm telling you what God say. You gonna have to reap what you sow. Because God says, "Thy should not kill." And that's for anybody. 
and y'all sitting up there doing stuff for money. And hold on, just because you ain't killing nobody and you're taking that money as a murdering spirit, you still going to get it. Because if you're taking money to spy on God's people, don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you better find out. They sending people, paying them real good thousands. How, ask me how I know. <laughs> I didn't shift it. God made me shift. That means it must be saved. I'm going to say it again. Those are hits. This is praying time. This is fasting time. Because God is getting ready to put Deuteronomy's power on the remnant. I'm going to say it again. On the remnant. I'm going to say it again. On the remnant. Pharisees and Sadducees, y'all getting ready to get exposed. Because you ain't got no power anyway. So God can't use you. Because you didn't sold yourself too. To this system. Yeah, I said it like I said it. You ain't got no more power. You didn't sold it. Now, some of you getting getting scared because you're getting older. So now you're like, oh, I repent. You still got to suffer what you did. You, you reap what you sow, period. I don't care if it's me. Oh, Lord, you made me go. He made me go deep. Uh oh, uh oh, they don't like that, Lord. All right, that's all I'm permitted to say. We're living in some perilous times, y'all. I'm serious. Death upon death. And but God says, I hear you, God. He says, be, be not dismayed. We are martyrs. I'm going to say it again. Y'all sitting up there thinking that people are just killing people. Don't you understand the scripture says, a time and a time and a half the enemy will have his wrath. And until your brethren are killed. Y'all sitting up there being all said, this scripture. Oh, let me just say it. They're going to kill us. Oh, come on, somebody. But you better go out with power. <laughs> If you're going to go out, I'm just saying. They ain't ready for that realness. Because that's too scary, huh? The only way you don't fear is if you get full of the Holy Ghost. But if you ain't full of the Holy Ghost, you're going to surplant. That's where the, that's the word plant come from. You're going to surplant. <laughs> that's why you had to change Jacob's name. <laughs> Y'all going to catch that in a minute. Ask God to change your name. And ask God to make you full of the Holy Ghost. Because you're going to need it. All right, that's all I hear God saying. God bless you. God keep you. If you are led to sow, my cash app is dollar sign, um, all caps, profit is DD. And for those that don't know how to spell profit is, because y'all be spelling it kind of crazy, I'm going to put it up on there. Whoo, I'm telling y'all. Some perilous times are here and they're coming. All we did was go back in Jesus' days. And I don't know if y'all see that. That's all we did. Now we got to walk that thing out like Jesus. All we did was trade places. And so as they did to him, they should do to us. <laughs> hallelujah. I say hallelujah. But I'm going to leave you with this. When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane and they said that he was sweating blood. Have you ever sweated blood? I know you didn't. But I love the way he says, say, if this cup could pass from me, and I know some of you feel that way, God, if you could just rapture us up, you know. If this cup could pass from me, but I love what he ended to say. But nevertheless, not my will, but thy will. That's where we got to be at. God, I don't, lie. I don't know about this, God. But nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. So God bless you. God keep you. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. Get close to God in this hour. You're going to need to know his voice. You're going to need to know his voice. You're going to need to know his voice. I'm telling you, you're going to need to know his voice. You're going to need to know his voice. Because the enemy try to sound like God, try to move like God, but he ain't God. Hallelujah. Get in your scripture. Oh, that's what he wanted me to tell you. That's why I was lingering. I was, I was you know, because I told you I was going to stop, right? That was this the last thing. He wanted me to reiterate this. Oh, Lord, that means it's coming soon. He gave it to me last night. So, maybe about five or six years. I don't remember when I first delivered this message. Get in your Bibles while you can. Hold your Bible. The time is coming where they will come in your house and take your Bible. And I see it's going to be called the great burn. I need somebody to write that down. Please write it down. It's a thus said the Lord. They're going to call it the great burning. The great burning is going to be televised everything. They're going to put all the Bibles in a heap, a pile, and they're going to burn them. 
get in that Bible while you can learn that word. Learn that word. Because they think that when they do that, they're going to take the, the, the word of God away. God said, nay, because it'll be in your heart. Hallelujah to this name. It'll be in your heart. God wanted me to mention that. That's why I was lingering because I felt there was something else he wanted me to say before I get off of here. I'm going to say it again. Get in your Bibles while you can. I, I, come on now. I'm telling you the truth up in here. I'm even going to say this. If you got some little ones, you might want to dig and hide them somewhere. That only you know in the ground. So I, I'm just being real. I ain't got time to play games. We ain't got time to play games. All right now. I'm telling you the truth. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. And I pray for you. And I'm going to pray for you right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, bless everyone that's on this live. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. I feel it, y'all. I feel it, y'all. I feel it, y'all. Get what you can. When the Holy Spirit come, get what you can from the Holy Spirit. Get healed and get deliverance. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. Father God, just bless them, God. Protect them. Keep them, Father God. Draw them, with, draw them to you, Father God. You say, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. God said, get close in this hour like never before. Father God, bring their hearts back to you, those that have, have failed, those that falling down those that are discouraged father god strengthen their heart again their mind their spirit god bring them back to you god and the ones that are already father god with you and love you father god strengthen them even more oh hallelujah protect us keep us god lo hallelujah 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 i feel the power god oh hallelujah hallelujah god says strengthen your hands for war we in a spiritual war y'all for real and they're not hiding no more so, Father God, we just thank you, we give you honor, and we give you praise in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. I decree and declare that this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When the Spirit of God is in the midst, ask for your healing, ask for your deliverance, ask for your miracle, ask for your breakthrough, and it should be done. Always remember that, people of God. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. So, God bless you, God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. This is General Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. <clears throat> Let's get it. Let's finish strong. Period. God bless.